going to install the 11 pole and the 11 coil stator, I mean the flywheel, also with the 11 pole and coil stator. Now, there is a specific way this comes out, the same way it, comes, it goes in. You have to follow the um, white mark, right? Or the, uh, the tape mark. First things first, you want to do is make sure that you find your wiring position. As you see, there's a pattern in this engine. The pattern is the wiring stays inside. It doesn't come out. So this is how the stator is. Now these screws, because this Loctite is so powerful, you don't need to mash it up all. It's a little slight like this, right? Not sure if you can see it. Maybe you cannot. Just a little tip, like you're doing in the L. And use your hand. Remember, no power tools, right? And the loft tight itself is going to make it stays. So then you hand tighten it. Eleven pole stator has to be like this.
Okay. Digger got installed. Now we're gonna check to see if it starts, right? Turn on. See, this is on. Brick light is on. That's the seven seven wire rectifier. I use a 15 amp fuse. All of this work has been led down to this. This is an A7 halogen headlight. So, the test here, I'm going to put the regular light and see the brightness. I'm going to change one side and see the brightness. If the brightness increases, I change both. If the brightness stays the same, I leave the stock. You know, this thing is funny, it's wired funny. When you turn on the low beam, the left side lights up. When you turn on the high beam, the right side light lights up. So let's let's run it. That's low beam. This is high beam. Low beam. High beam. All right. Now this is with both LED lights installed, right? It's high beam. Low beam. High beam, low beam. Now tell me this is not bright. 